Good morning, my friends. It's Tuesday, August 20th, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun. This is an etching. In the 15 and 1600s, Russia expanded much more into Siberia, which as you know, is incredibly cold. But the drive to expand was the quest for furs. Like the contemporary fur trappers of French Canada, the Russians courageously beat off the attacks of native archers and dragged their boats between the broad rivers, constantly moving eastwards. The furs were sent west to, the sewn, to be sewn together into hats, coats, and boots, which became essential for Russians in winter. But here was an expansive move driven by profit. People would pay money for those furs because they kept them warm. We continue in the book of Judges, which with a very um, not well-known story about idolatry. There's a man named Micah who lives with his mother, not a great sign <laughs> at that age. She has 1,100 pieces of silver and he steals them. And she doesn't know that he's stolen them, just that they're gone. And she gets very upset and curses them. And then he says, mother, mother, I have them. And she says, oh, blessed be you, son. You're so wonderful. Obviously, a very dysfunctional relationship. She says, well, let's take 200 of them now that you've given them back and we'll make an idol. So they melt down 200 pieces of silver and they create an ephod, which is a vestment, a breastplate, and a teraphim, which is a little deity. First, Micah gets one of his sons. So not only is he living with his mother, but he's having kids with other people, I'm sure, and taking wives. And he gets one of his sons to be the priest in his little temple with an idol. But then there's a homeless Levite. Now the tribe of Levi are known to be priests among the Hebrew people. Homeless Levi looking for work and, and Micah says, hey, you could be my priest. So he dresses up this Levite in the ephod and has him worshiping the teraphim, the little deity gods. And some people from the tribe of Dan come by and they're looking for a place where they can make more produce from agriculture. They're looking to probably kill some people and take over their land. And they say to this fake priest, hey, should we go out and look for someone to pillage? And he says, God's gonna go with you. So they go and they see this very fruitful land with all these people that are prospering and they come back to Micah's house to gear up to be continued tomorrow. What is idolatry? It's a very simple thing. It's just when we worship something that's not God. Anything can become an idol for us. It could be uh, a relationship when you become obsessed with someone and want to do everything they want, even when they're not treating you well. It could be money. You want to amass money at the cost of everything, at the cost of relationships or morality. It could be um, your own success can become an idol, doing anything you can to get ahead. Whenever we worship something, it means we adore it. We, we think that that thing is God in our life. The only thing that can be God is, is God. Everything else will fall and hurt us terribly. So just wait. Micah's in for it. <laughs> Let us pray. Almighty God, we give you thanks for ingenuity, creativity, for the expansion of, of humanity, but we also thank you that you warn us against this concept of idolatry. For we are your servants. We worship you and you alone. And anything else that we worship will hurt us and distort us. We give you thanks for this beautiful earth. We give you thanks for our bodies, for this new day. I will pause and let you give thanks for anything you're grateful for. Lord, we ask you to bless those who are suffering in any way, those who are sick, 
those who mourn and grieve, those who are lonely, addicted or struggling with mental illness of any kind. I will pause and let you speak aloud the names of people who need prayer. Help us today, Lord, to look to you and you alone for guidance. Help us to make wise decisions, to care for one another and for this beautiful earth that you've given us. Bring peace to this world, for you alone are the Lord who can bring that peace that passes all understanding. This we pray in the name of Jesus, your son, the one who is to be worshiped. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.